cue up that tape. It's Rhodes Rewind, brought to you by Rhodes College Athletics and the Rhodes Sports Information Department. Here are your hosts, Jeff Livesey and Ryan Van Hook. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Rhodes Rewind. I'm Jeff Livesey. And I'm Ryan Van Hook. It was conference tournament weekend for some of the Lynx teams this weekend, so let's start off hearing about the field hockey team. The Rhodes field hockey team made it to their sixth straight conference championship game by taking down rival Swanee 7-1 on Saturday. Aaron Best led Rhodes offense with two goals and two assists, while Mary Rose Hazel also recorded two goals of her own. The Lynx then took on familiar foe Center College in the championship game and fell behind early 2-0. Christina DeFelice responded for the Lynx with back-to-back -back goals late in the first half to tie the score at two apiece heading into the locker room. Center countered with two more goals in the second half and Rhodes could only muster one every Reuther goal in the 69th minute, ultimately losing to the Colonels 4-3. Rhodes ends their season with a 14-4 record, and both Kate Taylor and Shawnee Cohen were named to SAA All-Tournament teams. And sadly, this is the last time I'll get to say the word football this year. How'd the Rhodes soccer teams do? The men's soccer team fell to Barry College this weekend in the SAA Conference Tournament to finish out their season. The Lynx defense was stifling, with the lone goal for Barry coming in the 80th minute of the contest. The Lynx finished their season with a conference record of 3-2-2. Two, two. In the opening round of the SAA Conference Tournament, the women's soccer team was able to stomp Oglethorpe 3-1. Hannah Selner netted two goals for the Lynx, and her sister Emma Selner scored the third goal. Then the Lady Lynx were able to defeat Swanee in the semifinal round of the tournament with a score of 3-0. Hannah Selner recorded the second hat trick of the past week, scoring three of her five shots in the game. The ladies unfortunately then fell in the conference champion championship on Sunday to center two to one. Hannah Selner netted the lone goal for the Lynx, and Anna Maldonado played all 90 minutes in the goal and snagged an impressive 13 saves. Two ladies were named to the SAA All Tournament team for the Lynx: Brianna Durbin and Hannah Selner. Wow, that Mrs. Selner must have been a heck of an athlete herself, raising two kids like that. You're absolutely right. And now I'm going to set it over to Jeff so he can tell us how the Lynx volleyball team did in their conference tournament this weekend. Whew, you really killed that one. Whew. The Rhodes volleyball team fell in a tough match against number one seed Hendricks College, 3-0 in the first round of the SAA conference tournament. Senior Maria Tremorelli led Rhodes with eight digs, while Alicia Williams finished off her stellar freshman year with an eight-kill performance. Rhodes football team was playing their last home game of the season. How'd that game turn out? Well, the Rhodes football team took on Hendricks College for their last home game of the season on Saturday, and the Lynx fell behind early 7-0. Rhodes had to find some creative ways to score against the Tigers, and did so with a block punt that Joseph Rady returned for a touchdown, and a halfback pass from running back Rock Shirell to quarterback Blake Box. Rhodes, however, entered the locker room down 17-14. Both teams traded scores in the second half, but with the Lynx down three with under two minutes to play, Jack Ingles came up huge with another block punt for Rhodes, which freshman Alex Richards caught in return for the game-winning score, making the final tally 27-23. Shrell led the Rhodes offense with 137 yards on the ground, while linebacker Michael Shield led the defense with 18 tackles. Shield for Heisman. Amen. And that's it for another edition of the Rhodes Rewind. I'm Jeff Livesey. And I'm Ryan Van Hook. Adios, Links Gatos, and we'll see you next week.